Do you want to share slides on your live stream? In this video, you will learn how to live stream a PowerPoint presentation the easy way. On this channel, I do a lot of live streams and they're always about helping you engage better with your audience. And I typically use one of two systems. Either I use OBS Studio or I use Melon. And Melon is a new live streaming service from Streamlabs. It runs in a web browser, so you don't have to install anything. Plus, you can use it to stream simultaneously to YouTube, to Facebook, to Twitch or any other service as well. There's links to everything I'm talking about in the description below this video. There you can also try out Melon for free. Let's jump into the Melon Studio and I'm going to show you how to share your slides really easily inside of Melon on your live stream. Here we are inside the Melon live streaming studio. There's nothing on the stream at the moment. There's just my custom background and my logo in the top right. If I want to add myself to the stream, all I have to do is click myself here on the left hand side to add a webcam to the stream. But now let's go ahead and add some slides to this stream as well. And you can see here in Chrome that I have some Google slides on a separate tab. And the way I'm going to add that separate tab to the stream is I'm going to click share screen at the bottom here and I have three different choices. Either I can add my full screen, I can add a specific application window or I can add a Chrome tab and I'm going to add a Chrome tab, specifically the slides that I already have opened in a separate tab. So when I click um, OK to share the screen, uh, you can see that this tab right here now indicates that this is sharing to Melon. However, it's not on the screen yet because when I share that screen, it only appears as a second video source here on the left side of the Melon Studio. But if I want to add that very easily, I can just click uh, show on stream and it's going to show those slides on the stream. But it's still not looking great because it's not in full screen. So what, I, what I'm going to do to show this in full screen is that I'm going to go back to actual Google Slides and click Present. And here is where the cool things happen. This is not filling up my whole screen, which means that it's not going to cover all the tabs and all the settings. Rather, it's going to show a kind of a full screen within this tab. So when I look at how it looks on the stream, this looks like full screen, but it doesn't take up my entire screen. And I think this is really key for a single screen setup. Now, if I want to browse my, uh, uh, if I want to browse my slides here, of course, I can just click right and go through the slides and they are immediately going to show up in Melon as well. Uh, there are two layouts that I can choose from. There's this where, uh, which is currently active, where I have a, a larger picture of me in the frame and then I have the second layout where the slides are a little bit bigger and I am a little bit smaller. Pretty easy, huh? I hope you agree that it's a pretty easy way to share your slides on your live stream. But how would I do this with OBS instead? I think it can be done. I would have to create a window capture that would capture my Google Chrome. But the problem is that when I run those Google Slides in full screen, it's going to cover up the whole screen. And then I can't easily switch back between the different tabs like I can when I'm doing it with Melon. If you want to find out more about Melon, please use the link in the description below this video. There you can check out the features, the pricing, or you can get started with the free version. In just a moment, I'm going to share a bonus resource with you that's going to help you engage better with your audience and get booked for more presentations. But if you bring any value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a new video here every Thursday and they're all about helping you engage better with your audience. And here's something really helpful for you. When you write a speech, how much attention do you pay to the speech title? I actually did a live stream exactly on that topic using Melon just a few days ago. If you want to check out that whole 40 minute presentation about writing excellent speech titles, click or tap the screen right here. If you got value from this video, please like it and I will see you in the next video.